we start from the beginning? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so this is the first time when we are showing the S60 uh, Touch UI software, which is a real phone software on my PC. And then using this kind of a display to, to show how it works and behaves. And then it's uh, licenses business to, to show the actual hardware, the design, how it looks like in a, in a real device. Now, um, have you released the SDK? Uh, not yet. Okay. But the SDK is coming out before the devices are coming out. And the first devices are expected during this year. This year? Yeah. So basically everything you see on the screen is uh, clickable. So if I tap here, the block icon, it will take me to the block application. Uh, and in a similar manner, if I tap here to the uh, profile, I can quickly change it to different profiles. So all of the... That's a, nice, that's a nice shortcut. Yeah, it's a real shortcut. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a handy one too, because you're always switching around. Yeah, and then all of the other family S60, uh, features like shortcuts are available so you have those behind one tap. Now that particular home screen start page, is that is that something that everybody will have across the platform or is that... Yeah, so we have actually uh, three uh, these kind of uh, uh, home pages okay. uh, that you can choose, end user can choose. Uh, so you have this kind of a vertical uh, bar which shows the, the shortcuts and or your calendar details or you can start playing music from there or then there is this kind of a horizontal bar also available or then you can disable all of the icons and use the space for bigger wallpaper and, and things like that depends on what what sort of things you like um, so if we go to the contacts we can see that if you have a long list of contacts you can easily browse browse through the list with this kind of a gesture uh, so the highlight always follows your finger movements uh, then it's easier to find uh, the correct contact and you know where you are in the list uh, if you have a longer list and you keep scrolling it accelerates the scrolling so that uh, it's getting even faster just by like holding your finger down at the yes. bottom or whatever yes and then if you have 30 names starting with a 30 names starting with C and you are scrolling it shows the first character in front of the in front of the name so you can jump in alphabetic groups oh, okay. so it makes even more faster similar kind of a gestures are also in the uh, web browser so let's go there so this is a s60 web page uh, and i can browse the web page uh, with just moving the finger across the page so it's a quite fast way to, to navigate on the page. And all the time you can use finger. And everything's stylus. touchable, like uh, hyperlinks and all that is all touchable. Yes, as well. then you just tap to the link. Okay. Uh, but then when you want to scroll, you just drag your finger on a page. You can use stylus or finger all the time through the UI okay. uh, as you wish. Uh, then let's go to the gallery to see how that looks like so um, I'll open an image it opens the image to different screen resolution which we also support uh, you make a small gesture and it opens the next next image and, and then you can of course go, go back and forth uh, with the images the idea with the S60 Tux UI is that when you have learned to use S60 UI uh, with the current devices you don't need to start learning something totally different, but you already know how to use that. Uh, and we have choose that familiarity also because uh, we are still uh, supporting the soft key based interaction. So it'll be a parallel development of both the non-touch yes. and the touch screens. Okay. Yes, those actually will be one software, oh, okay. uh, which is then flagged if you know what it means to the different devices. Okay. So touch features are flagged when uh, when doing the devices and so on. So um, then uh, what's that uh, UI specific is the tactile feedback. So when you touch the screen, it gives you a physical 
physical feedback so that you know that you have touched that uh, device. Is that something that uh, is up to the manufacturer or that's something that's built into your code? Uh, we have built uh, that support to our platform okay. code, uh, but in practice uh, uh, licensees need, need to make a contract with the company who is behind this technology, okay. it's called Immersion. Okay. Uh, uh, technology. So when you touch the screen, it'll kind of vibrate or something. Yes. So it knows that you were touching yes. it. Yes. Uh, so uh, so far, as I, as I know, Nokia has made a contract with the immersion uh, to utilize this kind of a feedback, and then other other licenses can do the 